Hello everyone, and welcome to part three of Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, we're just going to start in here. We just released Who Shot Mr. Burns. Hilarious, I know. Gonna release a uh, game report on that. And since we have a pretty decent... Oh, yeah, okay. Detective Adventure, great combination. Dialogue's very important. Master B, Adventure, bad. Oh, that exp explains it. <coughs> Sorry. Platform audience, E for everyone. Great. All right. So we are going to research not to be great. Well, we're definitely going to get casual games. Wait for that. I don't think we're going to create another engine. We could just probably get some more topics or uh, engine in this stage anyway. I say that and I just start making a new game. All right, topics. Um, we'll go with Werewolf. Just check the game history really quick. All right, forgot what it was. Not bad. All right, sold 135 grand. Not the best, need to uh, get started on a game pretty soon. New topic, werewolf. Alright, see if uh, there's anything else worth researching. Not right now. Alright. We'll create a werewolf action game. Or actually, what do we have for a good casual audience right now? Um, try casual sports, I guess. Not sure how much that would work. Casual simulations, good. Get a license for this. Young. Sport. Machine. That's an interesting way to spell it. Work. Alright. There we go. 60 grand. Nice. This better be a good one. With the growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. All right, so he researched marketing, which we'll uh, get to once we have uh, 40 research points. All right, so we would want high gameplay. I think it's something like middle stories and quest. No, it's like, I think um, casual is just like really high in one and then just low in the other. So like no engine. Bit of stories and quests, and then a bunch of gameplay. Get rid of this. Don't want to waste the money. Probably get rid of this as well, actually. Linear story. All right. That's how it. I think it is anyway. I've played for a couple of years, but I haven't perfectly memorized everything because I uh, tend to just go with a couple topics. All right. Same thing again. High level design. Yeah, we're, we're floating there. We're hanging in there, but we uh, definitely could do with some more money. Casual. Um, high graphics, I believe. And then... Um, or sound at, usually. Like, no world design. Oh, I'm not, sh not sure I was doing it right, but oh well, whatever. Um, okay, bit of bugs, yeah, not setting it, breaking any records, but, uh, that's fine. Probably gonna be a hit game after this. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, the, uh, Vina, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vina ge Gear. If you, if it's pronounced Vena or something, correct me in the comments, please, but anyway. A portable console to directly compete against the gameling from Ninvento. A spokesperson from the company said, Unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to the game to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this device topple the game line? We will see. The Vena 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 Jesus. I I pronounce it either way apparently. <laughs> Vena Gear will debut in two months. 
All right. Interesting. We'll finish that up. Yeah, new combo. Level up in a mind stuff. And unlock a new couple new things. So yeah, well, actually kind of interested to see how this combination turns out. All right, seven, not bad. All right, so it's a uh, it's an all, all, all right game. Very good. Okay. Game before. Not a not too terrible. Not not such a bad game for the uh, first one on the game link. All right. Sparch and casual is a great combination. Okay, there we go. Not important at all. Engine. Casual game link, great. Game link, young, great. And topic, audience match, great. Alright, wow, so we really hit the ball on that one, actually. Yeah, it's pretty... Probably best selling game yet, I believe. Um... Marketing, yeah. I don't really... Market through the marketing menu much actually I usually in the later ah well we'll see I guess don't need to spoil every freaking point of the game today the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has been released alright I guess it'd be Vena I mean since you pronounce it Sega but alright research marketing can't research anything else for now so let's just uh um, racing simulation for the uh, PC, I guess. Oh, this is still on the market. Yeah, PC will sell better though. If for everyone, um, these races, huh? Guardian, <laughs> Lord. Anyway. Sport Machine Work has achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of D's Nuts. Yeah, not bad. Alright. Alright, simulation high uh, uh, engine. High gameplay. Basically, no story. Alright. Not bad. So yeah, we're doing relatively well. Not, uh, games getting on us for not being in the office yet. Uh, hi. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Yeah, I usually don't have this much trouble, but I guess, uh, it is, uh, harder to actually play something when you're recording, constantly thinking about a bunch of different things instead of the actual game. Is it high sound or high grab? I think it's like that, yeah. All right, not bad. Good. Here we go, here's a, uh, this will probably be the uh, big game. The one that makes us millions so we can actually advance to the next office. All right, release that. Yep, new record, new combo. Nice, simple cutscenes open world, all right. Guess we could start researching some things. What do we want? I guess we'll go for some gameplay items now. Game tutorials, I suppose. Nice. Yep. Yeah, high, high rated. Nine. Nine. Ten. And eight. Alright. Pretty good. That's definitely going to, uh... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. 40 million. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 40 million. Definitely. 100,000 units in two weeks. So that's great. Govador64 filed for bankruptcy. Failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. All right. So here we get the option for the new office. Congratulations, you just made quite a name for yourself. You have made, rather. And I've saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? We will. So now, here we go. Welcome to your new office. Note that 
now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world, nice, world class development team to make even better games. Well, great. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to uh, train our guy to uh, handle employees. That's not what I wanted to do. Train. Yeah, we also unlock a training option so we can increase our stats, basically. Oh yeah, I haven't finished it. Have to be patient. Yeah, D's race is, is doing really well. The latest game by D's Nuts has received very positive reviews overall. Game Hero gave it a 10, saying simulation games work well on PC. If D's Nuts continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Alright, so we're going to, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, no longer shook the mic there. Oh, I wanted to see how much I gained on the uh, G64, but whatever. Not much. So, yeah. Rolling the money while we, uh... Alright, now we are able to hire. So, we'll go... Probably, uh... Complex algorithm, which is, uh... What you get for a technology specialist. So, we'll probably do something like 450 grand. And in the meantime, we shall generate a game report. Oh, nice. I, I like how I freaking forgot to set a timer again for the third time in the row. Um, happens every time. I literally set it all up and everything, and I just had to press a button, but of course I forgot. Anyway, enough ranting. We'll go with the... Uh, cheapest for now probably is the best bet right here Deborah Burton we've unlocked medium games so now we have to train them staff welcome training well we don't have to but it just speeds up their efficiency quicker more quickly anyway it's quicker even a word I don't I don't think so our post all right yeah level design quite important platform audience audience match PC everyone good racing everyone great all right um, research, no, not research, actually we'll train our, although it won't be the best right now. I think we'll, uh, uh, I think it's, make me think for the research, yeah. Yeah, it's good because you, um, it's quite noticeable as well, you, uh, train them in research and you get more research points for uh, I don't know whenever you gain them whenever you do something that gives you research points yeah we sold 1.7 million so yeah we're just gonna uh, wait for a guy to stop training and then we'll get on a new game and then we'll release medium games I guess and then probably get another employee all right Okay, let's see, what do we want to make? We just released a racing game, so... I uh, think another post-apocalyptic RPG. Or was it Adventure the first time? Oh, well. Yeah, PC. Um... TES, actually. Yeah, E... Alright. Fall... AL man. Yeah, just such creative names here. And 2D Graphics V2 once again. Swords and Quest gameplay. Very little engine. Still pay the five grand, I guess. I, I don't know if it affects anything when it's that low. If it affects anything when you leave um, enhancements or whatever you, you want to call them out. But. I don't know. I, I'd leave them out if it's that low. Alright, high dialogues, high design, and then... Yeah, so it's a very formulaic game. As in, it's basically the same thing. Relatively, like, the same thing every time. There, there's a few different events that will happen and things you can do, but... You know, it's just, like, mostly sliders. It's not, like, the most realistic portrayal of actual game making but you know oh well um yeah still don't know where to place graphics and sound on the rpg 
probably did when I really was into playing it, but I forgot anyway. Alright, yeah, definitely a uh, record for design. Hi boss, I have a knack for security and think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I've done some research and I think with an investment of 50 grand, we would be a lot safer than we are now. What do you say? Alright, we'll get right to it. Not sure if it changes the keypad or... Felt like it changed something back in another version, but... I don't know, maybe I was dreaming something. I guess there might not be a visual cue as to what changed with that. So I'll generate a game report and she can... Uh, reviews came in. Alright, so yeah, about seven, not too bad. Not, not, not bad. Alright, seven, seven, six, six. So, 6.5. Research, can we get? Yes, medium games. So now we could uh, research medium games and then you can actually allocate, well they're just bigger games, you uh, allocate resources to them, pretty much. Quite important, okay, good, all right. Well, we already trained him, so I guess it wouldn't be good to do it right after. We'll definitely focus on uh, stuff for RPGs. Focus an engine on that, but we won't actually make another engine until we get 3D graphics v2. Hi, my, <laughs> hi, my, my, wait, Jesus. Hi, my name is Jeff. I've followed the progress of these nuts for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, you have recently started developing larger games. Uh, larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but this, since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Jasmine. Alright, so bigger... Well, not bigger contracts. Jeez. We unlock publishers so we can, uh... If we would like to, we could try and find a penalty... Penalty. Lord. Publishing deal. Jeez. And, uh, basically it just locks a, uh... Or chooses a game genre and game topic for you and then you give royalties or you get royalties for making it and it sells it doesn't sell well it sells a ton more units so you get a lot more fans you don't get as much money as you would unless it's a huge hit but you do get a lot more fans so it's a great way to um quickly improve your uh fans so that you can kind of blanking out on fan what fans even do at this moment Oh, it's just like, you're able to release things better, so I guess probably like, I don't know, sell more copies in turn, something like that. Aliens action, minimum score, like you can tell, and then what game size they want, the penalties. Um, I mean, Mento actually wants to. Alright, yeah, I don't think any of these are very good. This is great, actually. Any topic, um... RPG just needs a minimum score of four. Um, we already released one though, so don't want to oversaturate the market. Okay, we're going to gonna alt tab just Lord super quickly. Yeah, we're going to um, release this last release another game, and then this will be it for this time. Um, probably research another topic. Research life I guess we'll do life simulation and then we can train this person while we're at it in uh, technology codem complete nice nice things are going pretty good actually took uh, quite a bit longer than I usually take to uh, get in the second office but oh well Yes, Veina has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Veina Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Veina said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be a, the genesis of a... <laughs> nice, I like how that 
that was reference there, of a new generation of cons gaming consoles, we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Nice, so E pretty much. Alright, wait for this to finish up. So yeah, the console war is going to uh, start full swing in a minute here. Alright. Develop. Videos have been getting longer as we go, actually. Um, what platforms do we have right now? Okay, so it's not out yet. Uh, life simulation, I guess. So, PC. My name is Jeff. Medium. Uh, sim. Nutty Sims. Nice. The games. The names just keep getting better. All right. So yeah, as you can see, here's the where the allocation comes in. Um, you as the uh, owner, CEO, whatever, start with better stats. Pretty good stats, actually. So I tend to do the majority of the stuff. Oh, I should probably actually deal with the sliders first of all. Little story in. Yeah, alright. So, I'll handle this and this. She can handle gameplay. Nice. So yeah, as we do this, I could probably get someone else. Four fifty again. A uh, designer. Yeah. Because if you get too many of the uh, same types, they'll it'll be skewed in one way. So it may be, if you have a bunch of design, it may be good for like RPGs or whatever, but not for simulation, which needs uh, technology points, that type of thing. Um, she can do artificial intelligence, I guess. I'll do this this oh I'm getting really hmm what do we want to do here yeah we're probably just gonna have to be super well you can hire this person and they can take off some load I guess um who's the cheapest again well we definitely don't want more technology then I guess we won't go cheapest um you know what, we'll go for this guy. He's pretty expensive, but uh, worth it, I guess. Alright, so now it's the Oasis has been released. So yeah, our efficiency's gone way down since we hired a new staff member. Just wait a little bit and he'll be... Alright, so he's good at pretty much either. He's gonna have to uh, take up a lot. So he'll do sound. He'll do all that perfect 100% he'll literally do all this everyone else just sits here Ralph what's his face does all the work nice so yeah alright hi again I've heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team I've updated our client list so if you're looking for some contact track to work let me know Jason so yeah, medium-sized contracts. So yeah, as you um, fill up employees, you unlock some things like that. Just gonna sit around a bit to, uh, yeah, if you sit around too long, they'll start to uh, put bugs back in, pretty much. New topic, new combo, leveled up our graphics. Oh, are we using 2D graphics? Have we not unlocked freaking 2D graphics? Oh. Oh my god, that's probably a huge issue. I guess we never freaking, we researched it, but we never actually, yeah, nice. I'm, that's great. I'm super good with t details when recording, apparently. Anyway, we are going to release it here. Uh, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Have a good one.